Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Conclave Chronicles, my weekly PvP series in Warframe. I had a request last episode to do a kind of gunslinger-esque build where I go Mesa and equip dual Vastos and then I could pick any primary I wanted. So basically I think they wanted me to use the Akvasto and kind of go for a Wild West type deal, which I thought sounded kind of cool. And I haven't got a melee weapon equipped because if you equip a melee weapon on Mesa, or rather if you don't have a melee weapon equipped, then you get, a, well, in the main game you get 50 plus health, but if, in Conclave it's only a 30 health bonus. So I'm a bit more tanky than I would otherwise be. But the problem with Yak Vast though, because it's a secondary, believe it or not, I actually use a lot. Oh god, I really regret not having a melee weapon right now. The problem with the Akvasto is that it has a very low ammo capacity, and don't get me wrong, it's really powerful, but other than that, it does have a significant drawback, because you just run out of ammo so quickly. So I did need a reliable primary weapon in the form of Dex Sabaris. I kind of wanted to go for a, a rifle type feel, Some, this is the closest thing I could think to the Evans Repeater, which was used in the same kind of time period. And of course I have no complaints with using a gun named after myself. So I'm probably going to be using the Dexabaris a lot because, as I said, I'll be running out of ammo. But whenever I do get the opportunity I'm going to switch to the Akvasto and hopefully wreck with it. I am just kind of letting my ally get wrecked himself. And you are not getting away my friend. I think one thing I need to do to help with both ammo con conservation and aim is I don't I shouldn't spam fire, I should fire, 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 get a kind of tempo to it. What's going on there? I, I'm i trying to work out what team I'm on, and that is an enemy, and... You see, if I did it there, if I timed my shots, then I probably would have hit more, and I wouldn't have needed to reload as fast. There's some ammo packs here, I'll quickly pick those up. It's kind of refreshing having to actually go and pick up ammo, because normally you just die before you, before you need it. Uh, there's a guy there, but unfortunately I didn't get him. Yeah, I'm definitely going to work on spacing out my shots and kind of tap firing. A bit like that, except more accurate, hopefully. I've got a lot of energy. I'm going to pop a ballistic shield and kind of go on the front line to stop my ally being focused as much, because he is definitely the one taking all the hits right now. Um, I did save Venoro, but then I ran out of ammo at a really awkward time. And I think my ballistic shield is deactivated, so... Yeah, that was inevitable. I do see people using the Latron so much in PvP, and I know a lot of people wouldn't like it, but I, I really want it to get nerfed. But it, because so many people use it, it's like one of those primary high skill level PvP weapons. I, well, high skill level, it's powerful, but you do require accuracy to use it so it's not broken. I would like to see it get a nerf. Just so people do try a bit more variety with weapons and loadouts. Although, you see, I, ra I ran about balance, but it's incredibly hard to balance a game, and something, like, without a doubt, something is always going to be the most powerful thing. There's no way to avoid that. So I can only complain about it so much. I'm really glad it magnetised all the way. This guy's going to come round, he's probably going to go for this energy spot. So if I can pop a shooting gallery... Then, there we go. Shooting Gallery got a buff that I'm not aware of. And I I think it basically means that I always have the buff, but it does also go to my allies periodically. I'm not, I really should have looked that up actually. Shooting Gallery did get a buff of some kind. Shooting Gallery, if you don't know, gives you a damage bonus to whatever weapon you're using. And it can also cause the weapons of your enemies around you to jam. So Shooting Gallery is one of the best passive, well it's, it's not passive, it's one of the best active abilities that has a passive bonus. There are other abilities that Mesa has which could be beneficial but they are going to be an energy drain and at the end of the day they will make it harder to use things like Shooting Gallery so I'm probably not going to use much of their other abilities with the exception of my Ballistic Shield which basically gives me a lot of damage mitigation for a fair amount of time. I'm not going to use Mesa's ultimate because I used to think it was really powerful, but in Conclave it is abhorrent and I definitely do not want to be using it. I'm aware that I'm using the Dexabaris a bit more than the Akvasto, but again, I just every gunfight I've tried to use the Akvasto, I think I've run out of ammo. And have I even gotten any kills with it? 
Alright, you know what? I'm going for at least one kill with the Akvasto, and then I will be a bit more liberal with my weapon switching. Alright, I'm going to pop a shield here. That's going to last eight seconds, and then I'm just going to run into the centre of the map and hopefully get some aggro from enemies. No, that didn't work out as intended. You see, I thought I was going to like soak up a lot of shots, and then my allies could jump in and help out. I did choose... Um, I, I chose Team Annihilation because I thought it'd be kind of like a gang war, which would be really cool. That guy killed me in midair with a Dark Sword. That was pretty talented. I've never seen anyone use a midair strike with a sword. You get some people using it with spears and pole arms, but not swords. That's, was that an enemy? I, I always struggle to differentiate ally from friend in this. But yeah, Team Annihilation, a game mode, my least played game mode. But I thought it'd be cool to have like a gang war in the old Wild West style. Did I get a kill with the Akbasto? I forget. Well, that's going to change because I am... Oh no! Alright, it's probably hard for you to see, but that guy was on a sliver of HP and one more shot would have killed him. I said I'm gonna... I, I did say I was gonna space out my shots, but then it's something I haven't been doing. And yeah, I, I started shooting that guy when he had invulnerability, so I stopped until he fired, but then that gave him the initiative. My cat is... Fu oh fuck, don't trip on the microphone, you... Uh, he pulled out multiple USB cables there. I have no idea if I'm still recording. <laughs> this this is the quality of my videos, everybody. Evans with his Ed 111 is the most professional Warframe YouTuber. And he's sneezing in the background just to make sure. Um, well, it's kind of like when, you know, murderers leave a rose on their victims. That's, that's what he does. He leaves some saliva over my microphone. All right, that guy, I am going after him. I don't care where he is. He is... There we go. I even got it while sliding. Can I? No. I, I really dislike killing people whilst AFK. It's like, um... I, I know some people care about their kill death ratio in games, and I know connection can be a bitch in games. So I would hate for someone's kill death ratio to be affected by their bad connection. It just, it doesn't seem fair. I got a hit marker there when I didn't actually damage anyone. I'm not sure where that hit marker came from. Is that an enemy? Huh. Right, I need ammo first of all, so I'm going to go to my favourite ammo spot, which is over here. That seems to be an enemy, although I swear he had the friendly symbol. Right, you know what? Let's... wait, why am I not reloading? There we go. I'm going to pop on Ballistic Battery. And Ballistic Battery, if you don't know, every time you do damage, it charges up. And then you can activate it for one powerful shot like this. Oh, I thought I did that! I thought I not only released it at the right time and hit someone with it, but I thought I got a headshot. And because of the really awesome effect it has, it seemed like I killed him, but I didn't. Can I? There we go. Um, I'm going to wait for that aura to come to me, then I'm going to switch to the Akbasto, and I'm going to join this fight and pop a shield if I need to. I'm actually going to pop shooting gallery to disarm. Oh, I thought there were more people there, but I was attempting to disarm them nonetheless. And let's roll around here, because there seems to be a fight going on here. I did actually shoot that guy, so that was a well-timed shot, thankfully. And um, that guy has invulnerability. I really dislike the un invulnerability phases, because people can just charge at you, wait for you to shoot, and then they know y you've got less ammo than them, so they are going to... well, they're going to win the fight. That guy is going to go for the energy. I, <laughs> You see, that's what happens when I time my shots. I don't hit any. Yeah, I'm damaging people just by standing next to them. I don't know how that's working or why that's working. I'm now going to pop shooting gallery again to try and disarm these dudes. I really don't know how effective the disarm is in... in oh crap, I'm very... No, I've got 20 shots. I'm going to take out... That's an ally. I'm going to shoot an ally numerous times. Alright, you know what? Let's take out this guy. There we go! I was standing still, so I really should have died there. I think just my my passive health bonus is what saved me. Right, I've got eight shots. If I can get to this ammo pool safely by doing very unnecessary acrobatic moves, then I'll be able to reload. And I've still got a decent amount of energy. I might show you the ineffectiveness of the ultimate. There you go. That took all my energy to kill someone who, if he was shooting me, then I would have died. So, Mesa Ultimate, my tip for this video, don't use it. Don't use it in Conclave. In the main game, it's great, but in Conclave, it's terrible. But otherwise, this was my Conclave Chronicles episode of the Wild West. I hope you'd enjoyed it, 
and let me know what you think of this loadout. Let me know if there's any specific loadouts you want me to use that I haven't used already, or that you think would be fun. Until next time, this is me, EvansWZ111. If you want more PvP content, I've got a Lunaro League series coming, which is basically just this in Lunaro. But yeah, this is me, EvansWZ111. Please rating if you enjoyed the video, and this is me out. Peace.